the last thumbnails was okay. I guess you did. Because now I have another thumbnails stuck in there for you. About something I like to call Cartoon Network. I know I have never discussed about Cartoon Network on this channel since my first video, which actually got pulled from the internet at because of Viacom. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna talk about Cartoon Network, the old and the new. Well, I guess I better start with the first year, '92. You know, '92 started pretty good for Cartoon Network. On October 1st, Cartoon Network aired their first couple shows. I mean, they did pretty good. I like them. And then when 1993 came, the network it almost immediately exploded. I'll tell you the story now on Fun News. The news for Fun News. 1993. The year for Cartoon Network was rough. I mean, there were some pretty bad things coming out. Like, the Moxie show. Yeah. I'm not a big fan. I'm actually not a fan at all. I have nightmares of Mox Moxie sneaking into my room and killing everybody in my house. That's why I always lock the door when I go to bed. And just get scared. <laughs> yeah, I was scared of that. So, 1994, you know? In 1994, things started to hover. <laughs> the Moxie show got even creepier by introducing a fly. And Cartoon Network first started setting out their little plans for what was going on in the future. Like, Space Ghost goes to Coast. Starting out Adult Swim. And then I would like to get into something. 1995! This is the year that Cartoon Network really started to pick up from, from everything. Um, you had the classics, such as, I don't know, World Premiere Dude started that. So you got all this fresh content. The cartoon cartoons just came out of World Premiere Cartoons with a bang. It was so good, I loved them. It was Dexter, Powerpuff Girls, Come Chicken, Johnny Bravo, Mike McGuin, Ag. And then there was the next year, which was 1996, which was when Cartoon Network really started to pick up a lot. They started airing original series, such as Dexter's Lab, and they really just knocked it out of the park with 1996. And in my opinion, things just got better with the year as the age ages. With 1997, and coming up after that, and introducing Gianni Bravo, Cow and Chicken, and Tsunami. Three things that are near and dear to most Cartoon Network fans. And after that thing, it came 1998. And the Powerpuff Girls came out, and, and the Mokti show got an even smaller reputation in Cartoon Network's history. I mean, the Powerpuff Girls came out, Cartoon Network was all about their original series, and planning two of her, her series would really get them going. So, in the beginning of 1999, Cartoon Network brought out two Greats, Ed and Eddie, and um, I don't think Michael Winog is a great, but hey, it's so good that Cartoon Network was rocking their new little powerhouse stuff. The original cartoons were getting a smaller and smaller reputation of, on the Cartoon Network. And guess what? The Moxie show got an even smaller reputation, which brings it from this to this to this. And finally, the big death toll for the Maki Show 2000, where Maki Show was ripped off the air around 
15, 16 years ago and was replaced two months later and has never aired since. That's the Cartoon Network I would love to live in. And then there's the new stuff that came in 2000. There's, there's not really that much for the network. They already got their slaves. So, 2001. I mean, they started out Big Pick, Cartoon, Cartoon Fridays. So you had surprising new content that would spread out through the 2000s, like, oh, well, no, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy, or Codename Kids Next Door. All of these classic things started out for these pilots. And in 2002, the stuff just got better. Codename Kids Next Door premiered, and... Cartoon Network just got a new jazz to their system. Boomerang was starting to air, so all of those old shows like The Flintstones were all on that network, and I really enjoyed Boomerang. Enjoyed Boomerang. Like when I was five. And then, after all that, Boomerang, Boomerang, we go to 2003. One of the most, uh, Shortening years up. Well, Dexter's Laboratory got their horrible reboot of the Powerpuff Girls and Johnny, Johnny Buff were just slowing down, say. And Billy and Mandy just started up. So you have these little, like, little weirdo things, and somehow Ed and Eddie got popular and popular. And that brings us to 2004 when they rebranded everything to the city era. Which meant new shows like Foster's was coming out for the network. Which was a really good thing because um, you know, Cartoon Network needs some new programming. And this was their change. <laughs> also Time Squad. Whatever happened to Robot Jones? And now 2005. The year that was the most hit and miss for Cartoon Network ever. Shows came out like my, I was about to say my life like teenage year out. My gym partner is a monkey, which I thought was cruel, and I thought it was the worst show on Cartoon Network at the time. And ooh, I I just can't remember anymore. Oh, that stuck out. Wait, hi hi puppy, I'm you. It's all that stuck out to me. So now I'm going on 2006, which was the year when the city brand sort of stopped and a bit, and Camp Laszlo came out and got these weird, yes, bumpers for Cartoon Network, which I thought were pretty okay, weird, yeah. And then in 2007, Jim Staples, president of Cartoon Network, stepped down from position from a guilty thing. So we got, what was it, Steve Schneider or something? Whatever his name is, Steve Schneider. And as our new president for Cartoon Network. And he brought in shows such as The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack and Sharp Saki Chokes, which was which meant the end of the S era and the beginning of the Well Monsters, the better S season of the year song, which meant bad stuff for Cartoon Network. At this point, all of the cartoon cartoons, except for two, were off the air. Dexter's Laboratory and all of them, except for two, which was Powerpuff Girls and Ed, Ed and Eddie. And then they was actually airing new episodes and the Powerpuff Girls were in limbo. So when 2008 comes along, it comes news of an Ed and Nettie movie, which gets me really riled up. And the Powerpuff Girls aired their last episode, ending the series, and now Foster's, Glaslow, and My Gym Partner is a Monkey go into limbo. <laughs> And then in 2009, Ed and Eddie 
officially is ended the last episode and so there's Foster's Laszlo and Imagine Fred does a monkey. And then comes 2010 where everything starts up. Bulge greatness. I guess the live action shows come out, but that's horrible. I'm not going into that. I'm just going into cartoons. Adventure Time, regular show, classics. Anybody? And Gumball. 2011. Pretty slow year. I mean, it was secret round for us and problem solvers, but I hate those. So, in 2012, things started to pick up a bit. Uncle Grandpa and Steven Snyder are retiring. And, and everything got better with Steven Universe and Uncle Grandpa in 2013. Well, in 2014 comes when we get Clarence. And, yeah. All these classic shows start airing. So, and then we get 2015, which... That's not that much. And, and we right now have a good network to watch for cartoons on CN, the classics. And that wraps up this episode of Fun Beast.